Just because spanning tree has been improved on doesn't mean we need to throw away everything we've learned. There are a lot of similarities. For instance, there is still a root bridge. BPDUs are still sent through the network. Switches still need to find the best path to the root bridge. And links are still blocked to prevent loops. So then, what's changed? Well, for one, all switches actively send BPDUs, not just the root bridge. The BPDU format has changed a little to include more information. There are a few new port states to supplement the blocking state. There are improvements to bring ports up quicker. And Cisco have added their own per VLAN technology. So considering there's a few versions of spanning tree, how do you know which one your switch is running? Once again, we come back to the old show spanning tree command. On this switch, we see that we're running a version of spanning tree called IEEE. This is the original version of spanning tree. Usually, Cisco switches will run some type of RSTP by default. That means that you can take a brand new switch out of the box, connect it to your network, and it will automatically have RSTP protection. But we just can't leave it at that. We still need to know how to tune it to our needs, and how to troubleshoot something if it breaks. Let's start by seeing how we can change the version that we're using. We do this with the spanning tree mode command. And you'll see there's a few options here. Rapid PVST is Cisco's version of RSTP. I say Cisco's version, as they have added features that aren't strictly part of the RSTP standard. Don't worry, we'll cover those a bit more later. Now if we check the version once again, we can see that it has been changed to RSTP. Now as usual, this video has plenty of quizzes that you can test yourself out on. And we're starting to get you to think a bit more outside the box.